Bernard Iala works as a driver here on the outskirts of Abuja. He's a father of five and says taking care of his family is a daily challenge. Five children. And I, can pay for my I have two, five right? children and only if two are able to go to money, school. I, can, I cannot afford the fees of the other three because we also need to buy food. So they should please assist. The Iyalas are one of many families struggling with multiple dependents. Nigeria's statistics body shows an average six children are born per household, the highest fertility rate in the world. It's prompted regional bloc ECOWAS to pressure the Nigerian government to have its birth rate by 2030. Clearly there is the problem of unplanned population explosion. We have facilities that were you know, basically developed in the 70s, catering for a population that has now almost tripled. The regional bloc is urging populous countries like Nigeria to adopt measures such as better access to family planning and improved education among women especially in rural communities where early childbearing is more prevalent. So people need to be educated to understand that, look, it is not all about plan. I mean, uh, 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 health, uh, uh, family planning is not about curtailing your freedom to have the number of children. Neither does it have anything to do with religion. We are talking about having the kind of persons that you can cater for, not the kind of persons that become a problem to you. Cultural and religious practices, such as polygamy, could prove a hindrance to government efforts. Experts warn rapid population growth continues to present a barrier in reducing poverty levels. But spreading the message on smaller families will likely realize more social development here in the long run. Sophia Dango for CGTN, Abuja, Nigeria.